I've been using my Razer Core-X with my Razer Stealth for a while now, and it's it's great. I have a GTX 1080 Ti in it, and it's plugged into an ultra-wide monitor, all of which translates to a great dock to edit my videos on and charge the laptop via the same cable, etc. I have to admit, though, that I used to have a Razer Core V2, and despite its much higher price tag, there are two things that I missed from it that the Razer Core-X didn't have. Ports, besides the sole Thunderbolt port, and, obviously, brightly colored LEDs. It seems though that Razer has been working on a solution. This is the Razer Core X Chroma. And personally, I think it hits the sweet spot for an eGPU in a number of respects. Firstly, if you aren't familiar with an eGPU, the short explanation is that it is a housing that you can put a proper graphics card in, plug it in via a Thunderbolt cable to your Thunderbolt capable laptop, and then the laptop can use that GPU as if it was internally installed in the laptop and gain the graphics performance boost that that provides. Now the Core X that I originally had is definitely Razer's way of trying to get their eGPU housing costs down. The previous Core V2 cost about $499 and the new Core X costs just $299. To do that though, as I mentioned, they removed chroma lighting and all of the ports on the back. So if you just wanted a full-sized eGPU without any frills, you could do so for a much more competitive price. Now though, it seems that Razer has actually managed to put the chroma in and all of those ports back in, and this is the really important part, managed to still keep the Core X price below $400. So now you get your expected eGPU that can handle any up to three slot size GPU up to 500 watts. There's 100 watts of power delivery over USB-C for the laptop as well. And the Core-X and the Core-X Chroma both work for Windows and Mac, by the way. And here are some score differences on benchmarks with and without the Core-X Chroma on my Razer Blade Stealth 2019 using that GTX 1080 Ti. But then, in addition to that, you get four USB 3.1 Gen 1 ports and a gigabit Ethernet port. Oh, and Chroma. Did I mention there are chroma lighting effects? Okay, cool. Now you might be wondering why it sounds like I'm suggesting you pay the extra $100 to get the Core X Chroma over the Core X. And that's because I am. Now, most people I know who have an eGPU set up on their desk, connect it to their monitor or monitors and treat it very much like a dock for their laptop. They come in, they plug in the one Thunderbolt 3 cable and they're ready to go. Now it may seem small, but for me, for a dock like that to truly feel useful, it needs to eliminate me having to use the very small, precious amount of ports that I have on my laptop. So the fact that it has four USB ports on the back means I can leave all the peripherals I use with my laptop while docked, as well as get faster internet by plugging in directly to the ethernet cable in my office. To me, that convenience, plus all the other things that it normally does for me because it's an eGPU, et cetera, et cetera, makes it worth the extra $100. And I, for one, am super excited that there is an eGPU that is also what I want it to be, which is a proper dock. Now, you guys, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you uh, about the dock, about the, the whole concept here, the eGPU itself. Always interested in hearing what you have to say. Otherwise, though, if you like the video, please thumbs up or share it. It's greatly appreciated. Also, check out the rest of my channel. If you like what you see there, please subscribe and ding the bell next to where subscribe so you get notified when I do new videos. As always, though, regardless, thanks for watching.